In the Hungarian parliament this week, one member said that people of Jewish origin should be listed as a security risk. This has provoked universal outrage here in the European parliament in Brussels. Jobbik, an opposition party purporting to protect Hungarian values and interests, also has three MEPs in the European parliament. The party has been linked to uniform vigilantes who say they are safeguarding public order in areas with large Roma communities. Beside doing politics, using the, the poorest, using the most vulnerable, uh, using the uh, different uh, fake aims to do politics and get votes, uh, beside doing this they don't do any action. And there we see many parliaments in the European Union where far rights are sitting, but actually they are not proposing anything when it really comes to policy making on the ground. We have just done the European Roma strategy. We pushed through the, 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 the strategy that has the 40 million poorest Europeans, 10 million of them are Roma. And to this document, we did not receive basically one idea from these, uh, from these um, uh, uh, MEPs. Uh, in the parliament and interestingly enough one of the three Jobbik members turned out to be a, a Jew himself so he quitted the party and now he's an independent and I think it would be very interesting to see his view on this. It's really frightening uh, what's going on in uh, Hungary and um, you know the anti-Semitism doesn't start with the extermination camps it ends in Auschwitz. It doesn't start in Auschwitz. Before uh, uh, this uh, uh, situation, uh, before those uh, dramatic events, there is a lot of steps which have to be taken. What the Jobbik uh, Member of Parliament uh, said, it's one of those steps. And we really need to ask ourselves if we are not wrong somewhere. I'm speaking about European Union. EU was constructed on the promise, never again. Now, today, inside the EU, in the very center, actually, of the uh, European Union in Hungary, a uh, member of uh, Jobbik, who I will recall that uh, there are a few members of Jobbik also uh, as member of European Parliament, they say one more time, not never again, one more time. So we need to be very strong, the reaction has to be very strong on this. We need to be inventive, to be creative, and to find solutions to stop this immediately. And those solutions could be, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, the suspension of uh, Hungary uh, in the European Union if the Hungarian government is not taking all the measures necessary to stop this. We need to outlaw this kind of anti-Semitic speech. Although there are far-right MEPs in the European Parliament, they're in a minority, and their views, for the moment, are not the norm. Colin Stevens for JN1 at the European Parliament in Brussels.